We're going to take a look at the Corsair Raptor HS30 and the Raptor HS40. Now the 30 is a stereo headset that has analog plugs and the HS40 is a 7.1 channel surround sound unit that has a uh, USB. So that one will not be taking advantage of your sound card. It'll, be, it'll bypass that one, but the HS30 will be using the uh, sound card that's you know available in your system. First off, let's take it out of the box. We have a plastic box and inside that we have um, packaging very similar to the Vengeance line. Now this is a step down from the Vengeance. It's more of a budget headset, so we're going to really look at what you get um, when you're on a budget, but also on a gaming headset. It, it does a very good job of keeping out the sound. They're not soundproof or anything like that, uh, but they do block out a lot of the external noise. You'll also notice that they swivel around a little bit, or they, they pivot, there's sort of a ball joint. They pivot just a little bit, uh, maybe a few degrees in each direction. That's just going to make sure that they're snug on your head, even if, even if your head is funny. If you have a strangely shaped head, they're, they're still going to fit on it. They do not fold all the way around so that you can lay the headset down flat. The uh, microphone, it extends up and down, and um, it's sort of rubber, so you can move it around. Um, give it a nice bend, put it wherever you like it. The top of the unit is glossy, and just beneath that we've got like uh, some foam. That's where your head's going to go, so it does have some padding for the top of your head. So it's a very well padded unit. Um, let's talk about the specifications of this unit, and then we'll do some mic tests. Those are always fun. Frequency response range on this is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Uh, the impedance is 32 ohms at 1 kilohertz. And uh, we have 40 millimeter neodymium drivers. Uh, they're completely balanced for gaming, and I do not recommend these uh, for music or audio creation. You're going to want to spend more money uh, if you're going to be you know, using it specifically for those things. Uh, but for gaming, you'll do just fine. Now, the HS40 is a 7.1 um, channel gaming headset, and it, that doesn't mean that there's you know, a million speakers in there. You still have one on each, each side. It's, just, it's all done in software. And it does sound pretty good if you're getting this for gaming and you want to know exactly where everything is in the game. Um, the positional audio, it, it'll let you know if someone's coming up behind you or someone's to the left or the right. And that's the main difference between these two. And again, with that one, in, for music and that sort of thing, I didn't really like the quality at all. Um, it, it, these are strictly, in my opinion, uh, for gaming. It just sounded like it was a lot of mid-range and even with equalization I wasn't able to achieve anything that I thought sounded amazing. But if you're someone who games a lot and, and is on a budget, um, I can recommend these for that. Let's take a look at the volume regulators. For the HS30 we have a simple on and off switch on the volume regulator and that'll uh, you know mute your, your microphone. No LEDs or anything like that. And then we also have just a standard you know roll up and down for the volume. Just all analog. I actually really like analog. It's really fast, just rolling things up and down. We also have the HS40, which has a digital volume regulator. It's got plus and minus buttons. You can press those. And then in the center, you see we have the blue LEDs. That means the mic is on. When you press the uh, microphone button in the middle, it mutes the mic and then turns it red so that you know that the mic is muted. I also want to note that there is not a clip on the back of either one of these, so you can't clip it to your, your lapel. If you're wearing a business suit, you can't clip it to that, you know, or whatever. Whatever you're going to clip it to, it's, it's not going to happen. The, uh, the cord length on these is 9 feet or 2.7 meters. So I suppose you want to know what the microphone sounds like, so I'm going to test it out right now. A rainstorm? Yeah, I'm going to test this headset in a rainstorm. First off, I'll go through the specifications. We have a unidirectional noise canceling microphone, and that should help out, you know, when your friends are flailing cats over their head. Because don't you guys have cat flail wars? We, we do where I come from. So that'll help out with some of that. Uh, the impedance is 2.2k ohms. Frequency response range is 100 to 10,000 hertz. Sensitivity, negative 42 decibels, give or take 2 decibels. Alrighty then, let's start some trouble and I'll keep talking just so you guys can hear how it sounds while I'm playing a game. Let's bother this poor. He's just chopping wood, minding his own business. And then into town comes this idiot and shoots Help him in the head. <laughs> Sneak it down. He just keeps. Something what? There. I don't understand. You were just wanting to fight. But now you're. Alright, this will take care of this. No! Oh. Get out of here. Oh, this is not gonna end well, and it's over. Guys, these do not compete with four or five hundred dollar headsets. They are good gaming headsets if you're on a budget, and that's the bottom line. Um, they're not as high-end as the Vengeance, so if you have a little bit more money, take a look at our video on the Vengeance. You can just click on the screen right here. Uh, but they are a good starting point if you're on a budget.